the Air Jordan 1 High Palomino. Is this really, truly the best Jordan 1 to release for 2023? Did I pass on the best Jordan 1 to drop this year? Well, depending on who you were to uh, pose that question to, they would probably tell you, yes, I did. But you know what? This is all subjective. I am curious though, please share your thoughts on this brand new Jordan 1 High to drop. Of course, it garnered a lot of attention for its official drop of uh, September 2nd. And I'll be very honest with you, the only thing I was concerned about was college football being back and me just enjoying time actually with, with friends and their family. So uh, I have a follow up video very soon in relation to college football being back, but more on the Jordan one itself. So it dropped and we know the endless comparisons. They were here. They hit up and down your timelines on Twitter, on Instagram, certainly here on YouTube. Uh, yeah. So I'm talking about the Mocha one. You knew it was coming, okay? You knew this was coming. Mocha one, Palomino one, which one is better? Which one would you rather have? And I've seen it all. I'm not fatigued by Jordan 1s. I think a lot of us are a little, you know, fatigued by that comparison, but we knew it was coming. It just, it's just part of the game. Now, uh, my personal thoughts, I'm, I don't even, I don't know that there is one that like stands out from the other that much in terms of a preference of mine. I don't own either one. I intentionally passed on the Palomino one and I tried for the Mocha one. That just wasn't in the cards for me, didn't happen. And based on the price point right now, I don't want to pay that for just a very, not that a lot of Jordan ones aren't, you know, standard basic, I should say in their color blocking, they are, but I don't see the reason for me right now to pay that for a Mocha One. Now, I have a video here on the channel in which I passed on paying resale for that to instead pay down the principal amount of a student loan. And you know what? There's an entire series on that because I know there's there's this assumption that everyone just didn't do anything for the past three years with student loans being in forbearance. That's definitely not the case. Some of us paid on them and took advantage of no interest being charged. I just had to throw that little rent in there. But I could have picked it up and paid resale and it's just still not something I'm in the mood to uh, to do at the moment. But I noticed something interesting with all of the comparisons, at least a lot of them I saw. Many of you haven't touched the Mocha one since it touched down itself. Like since you unboxed it from the shipping box, the actual Jordan one box arrived in, you haven't touched that sneaker. Like that sneaker hasn't seen the light of day, okay? Until your Palomino one came in and you said it's time to put these side by side and throw a picture up on the gram and just, you know, inquire certainly for engagement. Hey, which one would you rather have? Which one do you prefer? Now, is that everyone? No, some of you wear your sneakers and I love that. I'm all about wearing my shoes. I certainly am. I'm all about wearing my sneakers. But I just find that really funny that, not that people were exposing themselves, but I'm like, man, so those came out when? Cause I, I swear, was it like 2021? I just, this is how much I'm not pressed about the Mocha one. But I think they dropped 2021. You know what? Let's just, let's do a quick check here because again, 2, I just- 2000 years later. Not even focused on these things, but let's look up Mocha one. When did they drop? Dark Mocha one, if I'm gonna be specific here. Oh, 2020, so October 31st, 2020. Oh yeah, we were in the heart of lockdown then. I do remember the frenzy. All right, so 2020, <laughs> these dropped. So a lot of you haven't opened those since 2020 because they're still factory laced, dead stock as ever. You know, just I would encourage you to wear those shoes. They're going to break down over time. Now, of course, the assumption of why a lot of people chose to not wear the Mocha ones yet, you saw that price steadily go up and up and up and up, and you thought, man, if I wear these, I will ruin the resale value of them, of what I could get for them. And although I understand that logic, that just could not be me because I'm not buying the shoes with just the hopes that the resale value could go up where I won't wear them. Like, the shoes are worn within won't even lie, like seven, seven days, not even business days, just seven days within a week, I normally wear the shoes that come in. So I just found that comical. Please comment below for a lot of the different Mochas and Palomino ones you saw on your timeline. Did you notice that a lot of the Mochas were still dead stock? Did it make you laugh a, a little bit? And I know some of you may inquire like, hey, are you gonna have regrets about not buying this? The one regret I had in the past that uh, actually has just dissipated it was the turbo green ones. So when those originally dropped, I just, I passed on them. 
and then it ate me up a little inside and now it just doesn't I, don't, I just don't seem to care and i'm sure i could have traded i have a hyper royal one double up so i'm pretty sure at some point i could have traded that for the turbo green i'm sure i probably still could i could probably trade it for the pink pair as well because i think that's really fire just again that pair and the palomino pair are both pairs in which i've come to appreciate them but it's done from afar this is what we call growth okay because if this were 2022 i imagine i would have gone for the pink pair i definitely would have gone for this because i love earth tones if you know me you know this okay i'm staring at two shelves right here of all the earth tone pans you can think of there are olives there's tans there's sage there's so many different earth tones just in terms of the pants we're not even talking about essentials because there's an entire setup out there if you watch any of my other videos here on talks with tj and hopefully if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe and the like button i love earth tones and maybe that's also why I was a little confusing to someone. I commented on someone's post, like passing with these are great or not buying these, these are, you know, but there's a great shoe. And they were like, oh, like I'm pretty much shocked or they were surprised. And I, you know, I replied back, why the surprise? And I guess I'm just thinking from my perspective, I passed on so many pairs this year, no one should be surprised if I'm passing on a shoe. But I, maybe it's based on everyone knowing I really love earth tones and I do, they're amazing. So I won't have a video for you showing these shoes on foot nor how to style them one thing i will say for you to style a pair if you secure them please be sure to just play around with the color wheel okay brown is nothing more than orange with more black added to it okay play around with the color wheel blue will play well off of that just depending on the shade that you select you can play around with other earth tones so the browns the oranges yellows creams Play around with all of that. Experiment, have some fun. The color wheel is your friend because I won't have anything for you like that, but I will have something up for, at least something unspecial to me, and that's the Bad Bunny Forum Buckle, the blue tint pair. So as soon as I can actually get working on that, I will. I have a lot of other videos to get done, but I appreciate you tuning into this one. I'm so happy for you if you secured the W on the Palomino 1 if that's something you wanted in 2023. Thank you for watching. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.